It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thanks to all of you for being a part of this Last Days Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. We thank you so much for supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue. Thank you as we are here watching with you and praying with you as the signs of the last days prophecies are truly revealing how near we are to the appearance of Jesus Christ for his church and his time to prepare now. There's news from the Middle East where Israel's military, the IDF, is flooding the tunnels of Hamas and Gaza with seawater just as Bible prophecy foretold. Where the fate of the land of Gaza is prophesied to be the same as Pharaoh's army that was overflowed by the waters of the sea. And the prophets foretold that the seawaters will fill Gaza and make the land desolate and bald where shepherds will wander, as Gaza will be taken over by the Jews of Judah. The Bible prophecies foretold that the fate of Gaza will be the same as that of Pharaoh's army, which was overflowed by the sea in the Exodus. And we are seeing now that the prophetic warning in the Song of Moses for Philistia of Gaza is coming to pass. The prophetic warning of the seawater coming into the land of biblical Philistia, which is Gaza, began all the way back in the Exodus when the Lord used the seawater to destroy the army of Israel's enemy, the Pharaoh. And the prophetic warning is found in Exodus chapter 15 in the famous Song of Moses that Moses and the children of Israel sang unto the Lord, describing how that the Lord is their strength and their song of salvation, as the Lord delivered them from Pharaoh's army. And they sang that the Lord is the man of war that drowned Pharaoh's army in the sea, covering them with it. And then the song suddenly sings that there are peoples that will hear of this and also need to be afraid. To where the prophecy then suddenly says that from this there will also be sorrow that will take hold of the inhabitants of biblical Philistia of Gaza, indicating that what happened with Pharaoh's army being overwhelmed by the seawater is a warning of what can also happen to Gaza of Philistia. And to my knowledge, there has never been a time when Gaza of Philistia and its inhabitants were overwhelmed by seawater until now. As the Jews of Judah of Israel, as prophesied, have taken over Gaza, and they are right now pumping the seawater into the tunnels of the Palestinian army of Hamas, with the overflowing flood beginning to literally fill the land of Gaza. And this is what the Hebrew prophets of the Lord prophesied would happen in the last days. Where the prophet Zechariah in the chapter 47 prophecy describes the judgment of the Lord upon Philistia of Gaza. The prophecy describes that the waters will rise out of the north of Gaza until they become an overflowing flood that will fill the land of Gaza and overflow the city and those who dwell therein. To where the Lord shall plunder the Philistines, to where the prophecy says that baldness will come upon the land of Gaza as the Lord brings judgment upon that land on the seacoasts of the Mediterranean Sea. And the prophecy of Zephaniah, confirms this judgment of the Zechariah 47 prophecy upon Gaza, where the prophecy of Zephaniah in chapter 1 begins describing the signs of the nearing day of the Lord, 
and his judgment, and continues in chapter 2 describing the fierceness of the Lord's anger before the day of the Lord, where the prophet in the Zephaniah 2 prophecy describes that Gaza, the inhabitants of the seacoast, will become forsaken and desolate to where the land of that seacoast will become bald with it being nothing but an open field for shepherds to wander in. As the prophecy says, the land of that sea coast will be taken over by the Jews of the house of Judah. For the pride of Philistia, as they have reproached and made arrogant threats against the people of the Lord. And this is exactly what is happening now. What is happening now is just as the Holy Bible prophecy describes, as it has been reported by the Wall Street Journal and Israeli and Arab media, that the military of Israel has now taken over Gaza and taken over the tunnels of Hamas in Gaza, to where the IDF has moved large pumps into the north of Gaza onto the seacoast. At first, they assembled five large, high-speed seawater pumps in north Gaza by the sea, but then have now come back and they added two more of them. And each one of these is capable of pumping thousands of cubic meters of seawater per hour into the tunnels of Hamas beneath the land of Gaza, which Israel can use to destroy the vast tunnel network of the army of Hamas underneath Gaza. It's actually not a new and novel idea by Israel because it has already been done before by none other than Egypt, the land of the Pharaoh. But what you're seeing right now in the video is actually the work of Israel to prepare to flood the Hamas tunnels underneath Gaza. And then you are actually going to see the IDF flooding the tunnels of Hamas in Gaza. But as I said, this was not a novel or new idea by Israel. It's already been done before by Egypt, the land of the Pharaoh, where Egypt, in 2015, on their border in South Gaza, flooded Hamas tunnels with seawater. So to clear the tunnels of terrorists and to destroy those tunnels, stopping the smuggling of Hamas from Egypt. But this led to complaints from the Egyptian farmers who said that the seawater pumped into the ground destroyed the soil of their farms to where they could not grow anything. As the seawater in the soil wrecked the farmland, destroying it, making the land unfit for agriculture as the seawater polluted the land. And streets and homes of the nearby towns were also overflowed with it weakening the foundations of buildings. And officials and experts are warning that Israel pumping the seawater into the tunnels of Gaza, flooding them out, can pollute and destroy the water and the land of Gaza, which they say can make vast areas of Gaza, they say, and I quote, uninhabitable, just as the Bible prophecies of Zechariah and Zephaniah describe, with the experts saying that this approach could harm the land of Gaza, and I quote, for generations. While Israel, they said, would feel no harm, no effect at all, due to the direction of water flows in the coastal underground aquifers. The leader of the Israeli military, General Herzai Halevi, said that their plan to flood the Gaza tunnels with seawater is a good idea, he says, since it is a timely and cost-effective way to flush the Hamas terrorists out of them and to destroy this Hamas underground infrastructure. And now, this week, 
This week it's reported that Israel has now begun the pumping of seawater from the north of Gaza into the Hamas underground tunnels as officials of the United States also confirm that this Israeli operation has begun. As we see now that the prophetic warning in the Song of Moses for Philistia of Gaza is coming to pass that sorrow will take hold of the inhabitants of biblical Philistia of Gaza from the overflowing sea water, just as it did with Pharaoh's army. To where just as the prophet Zechariah prophesied, the sea water is rising out from the north. There will become an overflowing flood and that will fill the land of Gaza and overflow the cities and those who dwell therein. To where baldness, baldness will come upon the land of Gaza as nothing can grow there. To where, as Zephaniah prophesied in the last days, that Gaza of the seacoast will become forsaken and desolate. To where the land of that seacoast will be nothing but open field for shepherds to wander in. As the prophet said that Gaza will be taken over by the Jews of the house of Judah because of the pride of Philistia, as they were arrogant toward and reproached the people of the Lord. It was in the arrogance of the Palestinian Hamas of of Gaza that they said that their savage surprise attack in Israel on October 7th, they said that it was called the Operation Flood, Operation Al-Aqsa Flood, as they flooded Israel with horrific violence. But now, as prophesied, for their arrogance and reproach unto Israel. The Jews of Judah have taken over the land of Gaza and they are flooding it with sea waters of judgment, just as the Lord also judged the army of Pharaoh in the Exodus. And as Zechariah and Zephaniah prophesied, this is a sign of the last days of prophecy. The prophecies of the Lord God of Israel in his holy word are always yea and amen, as they are the sure word of prophecy that is always surely, accurately fulfilled as spoken by the Lord God. And as the prophet said, these events and conditions happening now in the world are connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. And it's revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church by obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus in John chapter three and verse three and in John chapter three and verse five, where Jesus said that unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God and that you must be born again of water and spirit our one cannot enter the kingdom of God according to Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus said that he sanctioned only his chosen apostle. In Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18 through 19, Jesus tells us this, to be the one, to be the apostle, to tell us how to be born again of the water and of the spirit. As Jesus gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven, with Lord Jesus saying that what his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, recorded in heaven, which is eternal for his church. We're in the Acts of the Apostles preaching. In Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem, in Acts chapter 10 among the Gentiles, and in Acts chapter 19 to the Gentile nations, the chosen apostles of Lord Jesus preached how to be born again of water and spirit through Jesus Christ. These amazing prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies we're seeing now, that is directly out of the word of God. It is warning us how it is imperative that we must prepare now for the appearance of Jesus according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the acts of their preaching in their Holy Bible scriptures. And if you need help finding someone to biblically baptize you and pray with you where you are 
according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website, signsofthelastdays.org, or down at the very bottom in the footer, you'll find our email address. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies and to testify and to pray together live over you and your prayer requests. You don't want to miss whenever this last day's church comes together in those Watch and Pray live streams. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Significant, amazing prophetic signs right out of the prophecies of the Holy Scriptures are happening right now in world events and conditions. And it's telling us, as Jesus said, to be looking up. For these signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs of the times are everywhere There's a brand new feeling in the air Keep your eyes upon the eastern sky Draw the line.